few weeks ago I found myself on the beach. The day was incredible, so beautiful. The stones and the sparkle on the water inspired me to create these candle holders. I love air dry clay. It's amazing to work with, but if you want to learn more about it, go to my blog post and I tell you all the little tips to try to make it work as, as good as possible. But on this project, it's not about perfection. It's about doing something that really recalls the inspiration you have of nature. So I'm texturing my clay with my fingers, aluminum foil, just whatever I find to give it interest, not about perfection. I did a couple of candle holders to have the shape of the stone you find on the beach. This one has a vertical texture on one side and then the opposite side is very, very textured. I just wanted to use my fingers, no water again, uh, just to keep it nice and rough looking. And then the S will divide the rough piece from the smoother side. After you smooth the one side, I used aluminum foil for the very rough side on the other side of the S. I love how the aluminum foil turned out. It just gave it a lot of interest. I used that method in a couple of my candles as you saw. Keep in mind that when you insert your candle and the air clay dries, it will shrink. So you need to make your opening a little wider from the beginning or later on as it's drying you can sort of move your candle around and it will make the hole a little larger as it dries. I chose to just do that second method better. This is one of the two taper candle holders that I made. The biggest thing is to make sure that as you make it, the piece is stable, that the bottom is wide enough to hold the height of your candle so it doesn't tip over. I just kept rolling it and then on the center where the candle was going to go, I started the hole with a tool and then I just pressed in the candle after. For me, again, it wasn't about perfection, so I wanted to press the candle in so it rounds up the top and it looks a little bit softer. Once I ended up getting the height that I wanted, I pinched the neck there to just create a little interest on the transition to the actual opening where the candle is going to go. I wanted to show you how the candle holders, after they begin to dry, they start getting lighter. So you want to allow them to dry all the way through. If you're doing thicker pieces like this, they need time to dry. You may even want to turn them on the side once the outside gets dry so it dries on the bottom. I send that everything around 220 sandpaper. I did not want a very thin sort of smooth look to this so um, this helped me shape a little better some of the areas. To add a little interest in the sparkle that the water, the reflection on the water was showing, I decided to use some powder X um, it's just better for me than the paint. It just has a little bit of that sheen without making it just uh, flat. So it just has a little interest, not too much of a, of a painted look. And you can see how it just sparkles really, really pretty. <music> 